Hello and welcome back Kiwi Yoinkers and all other folk to Sunsaw Gaming. Uh, today we have three matches here for you and they are all seal clubbing matches. Uh, all Ace Masteries and I mean the first one here is from uh, Rebelite and he's driving his infamous Cruiser 2. Um, you may find Rebelite quite often from time to time going down into a uh, lower tiers seal clubbing and teaching the young ones how it's done. Um, and I mean I have sped these matches up, there are three of them, um, and I have sped them all up just because it's gonna, one, make this, this video go just a little bit quicker, and two, in my opinion, it makes the gameplay just a little bit more exciting. Um, now, a lot of people are against seal clubbing. Uh, they're like, oh, seal clubbers suck, you know, seal clubbers ruin the game for people trying to learn. Um, that is one way to look at it. However, I've got a different opinion myself. Uh, seal clubbing is fine it's fine so long as you're not doing it 100% of the time but like if you're out there just clubbing all day long then you know that's that's no good but if you jump into lower tiers for a couple of matches here and there in my opinion that is perfectly fine because you're showing these guys that are trying to learn the game that you know there are going to be better tankers out there than them um, you're showing them that they can get hurt, um, you're showing them how to hold and work positions, um, kind of like what Red Light is doing here with this Bay Type B, like, I mean, he's in a good position, but he's inexperienced in the game, and he's just learned how that position doesn't work, um, i.e., you need support, which he didn't have, I mean, the whole enemy team here, they're sort of going and playing one by one, not by themselves, and uh, Rebelite's team have just managed to find themselves in uh, in the one area, which, which pays off for them, especially with um, Rebelite giving all of this extra firing, well, extra cover fire or suppressing fire or basically just killing them, uh, let's, let's not mix words. But there goes another one, so he, he's now got three kills out of the four that are dead, there's only three left on the enemy team, this uh, T20 has finally moved out and exposed himself, and I mean, Rebelite is getting some nice shots in again, and once again, just going to keep pounding away at things. This Cruiser 2 is actually a really, really good seal clubber, um, just for that reload rate, the fact that it fires the two rounds, I mean it's armour, you're not going to bounce anything in this tank really. Um, I mean you will, but very rarely, but I mean it's, it's a decent tank and you can see just the amount of damage that uh, Rebelite is putting out here, at tier, what, 2? It's 1,132 damage already and 3 tanks still left on the team, one of them I believe is full health, one of them's just under half health, and the Cruiser 2 there is 2 shots, maybe 1 if he's lucky, 2 shots. Now just take a quick look at his ammo, he's down to 6 AP rounds, and I mean that is not enough to clear this last tank unfortunately, um, 4 rounds there is probably going to get him just under 200 damage you know, um, oh, very very unfortunate. He is now out of ammunition, and this is the last tank on the enemy team. Goes for the ram, gets some nice damage, and, well, unfortunate there, Rebelite. You could have had the win if, if you had not missed or bounced quite so many shots. Uh, either way, seal clubbing, great. Great fun. Go and do it from time to time. Teach the young ones how to, how to actually play before they get to high tiers, guys. Because if they get to high tiers playing like they do at these low tiers, then they're going to ruin the high tiers for everyone else, like they have been doing for a long time. And that's why I don't mind seal clubbing. Um, so there you go, nice ace mastery, high caliber, top gun, 1400 damage, carried the team. I mean, you still got a loss, but if you hadn't missed those five shells, you probably would have won that one, not a problem. We do have another one here on Mines now. Uh, this one was sent in by Marithu. And he's in the uh, little M5 Stewart. Anyway, it's a little American tank. This thing is super, super quick. Um, used to be the softest tank on the battlefield, but 
in recent updates, I believe from about up point, update 7.2, uh, this thing actually ended up better. And good on you, Marathu, jumping into a platoon with a complete random from lower tier matches even, not caring about stats at all. Big thumbs up, see, and that's another thing you can do from seal clubbing. You can end up in platoons with guys who will learn from you. And, I mean, let's face it, this game needs people to teach them how to play. But Marithu's out here doing what this tank does best, using its speed, getting through there, getting around. Um, as I was saying though, as of about up to 7.2 or something, um, this tank has become somehow bouncier. Uh, a lot of people do tend to have a lot more issues actually hurting this tank. And I've seen it from other players that um, play the game around me and that sort of stuff, that I know in person, and people hate this tank. People hate fighting this tank now. Which, fair enough, fair enough, it's a pain in the butt. It is a very quick tank, it's got a very quick reload, it has a very nice accuracy. And as you can see, I mean, he just took a bounce just a minute ago from... I think it was a Cruiser 2 way back here somewhere. But, um, great match here. Again, seal clubbing, and just like this A20. Not aware of his minimap at all. I mean, and these are things that being shot like this in low tier matches is going to help teach someone to learn. There's that Cruiser 4, sorry, not Cruiser 2, Cruiser 4, and he does manage to plink some shells. And this is just great. Like, this is what's teaching these uh, newer players to the game how to play. Like, this Cruiser 4, if he was a good player, he would clear Marithu, not a problem. But because he's not, and he is a very inexperienced player, um, Marithu does take him out here. But in saying that, He's learning at the same time how to track a tank that is doing things like the circle of death and just being an absolute pain. Now this PZ3, uh, not sure what's happening with this guy, but he doesn't want to know Marithu. That's cool. He's just going to try and run away. Not the smartest move. Doesn't know his tanks yet. And again, that's a seal clubber learning that there are tanks that will keep up with you. Seal clubbing is not bad when done in moderation. Nice mastery. 1,552 damage, 3 kills, carries his team, but his team does do a bit more than what uh, the previous matches team did. Either way, great match there, and we are on to our last one. Now this is QQ my QQ. Um, I don't know how to pronounce your name, dude, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to call you QQ. Anyway, he is in the Matilda Black Prince. Now everybody should be getting one of these with the Christmas uh, event that's on. Um, if you don't manage to get to this, don't worry, it's not the greatest of tanks. But, I mean, it's it's great fun for seal clubbing, and you're going to see it at its maximum capacity in this match. Um, it's not a very strong tank, it is not. Its, it's armour profile is crappy, uh, its armour values are not the greatest. I mean, this thing does have an insanely fast reload on it though, and that is what makes this tank so dangerous. I mean, it's not even a fast tank, it drives really, really slow as well. Um, but, I mean, if you get angles on this tank, if you angle this thing, it's going to bounce shells. And in this match here, like, the amount of shells that uh, QQ here bounces in this Matilda is just phenomenal. It is great. Now, we're not even two minutes into the match, and uh, he's already got two, sorry, three allied tanks that are dead. Three allied tanks in the first, four allied tanks in the first two minutes of the match. Like, it's not looking good for his team here. I mean, he's picked up one kill so far, he's still got another six tanks on the field. And you can see, his team done not in very good positions to support each other. There goes one more. Now it is two on six. One on six, sorry. <laughs> the other one just died again. As you can see, his teammates were dropping like flies. Now fortunately for him, that uh, Panzer over there is completely AFK. Uh, must have crashed out or had internet problems or something. But very fortunate for him. Um, he does get a few nice bounces while fighting that guy, and that is enough to keep this tank alive. Like, right now, 320 uh, block damage. That's about a standard amount to block 
for an entire match with this tank um, at tier 5 at tier 5 but it, it, this is just awesome any skilled team that are not seal clubbers um, at the higher tiers are not going to push in like these two guys did I mean they're they will wait for the support of all four tanks and go in there as a team and take the guy out. But thankfully for QQ here, um, that's not what the enemy done. They came at him one at a time, allowed him to keep distance between himself and a second gun, and he's just cleared two of them up. It's now one versus two. It's a very lucky track shot there from the uh, SU-85. And he's just going to use this damage per minute on this... On this tank on this gun he's just going to chase him around another pillar that's all of these tanks are driving at him in this area and just losing to the insane damage per minute of this tank and i mean those bounces and blocks help immensely like 1025 damage block that's more than his hit point pool here great seal clubbing just i mean it's wholesome it's wholesome seal clubbing and i don't blame qq for seal clubbing here i mean it's a new tank to him, I assume, um, and if it's not, it's it's a new tank out in the game at the moment, being played by everybody. Great seal clubbing, great match, and uh, 3,303 damage, 41,000 credits earned, 7 kills, that means he does get the Ace Mastery, Top Gun, High Calibre, he gets the Razzini's Medal, Steel Wall, and the Kolobanov's Medal. Great seal clubbing match there, um, carried his whole team he was the team let's face it he was the team 49 shots fired anyway guys if you like this content please like and subscribe to my youtube channel um until next time stay safe use cover cheers